Good morning. I'm going to look at the camera. I always forget to do that. I look at the phone and I don't look at the camera. So I'm looking at the camera now. J.R. Fisher here. How are you doing today? It is Wednesday morning. Got a good early start today. And I wanted to talk to you today real quick about the Calvary and if they're coming to save you because so many people are waiting until the Calvary comes and people come and swoop in and they they take care of you and they show you what to do and they help you out. And the truth is they're not coming. They're not coming. Okay. Um, you're waiting for something that's not going to happen. And I don't necessarily mean a big army of uh, guys with guns on horses. Um, what I mean is for that right moment, you know, like, you know, you want to, you want to break away from your job and you want to start your own thing, but you got to wait until the timing is just right. Um, you want to get in shape, but you want to wait until you really feel motivated to do that. And then you're going to do it. Um, the truth is there is no right time to do anything. I mean, it, it just doesn't exist. Um, there's not going to be that certain point in your life that the light bulb's going to go off or this great idea is going to hit you or, you know, you're going to come up with the next new thing. It's not going to happen. The way it works is you just have to start and you have to start when you don't feel like it and you have to start when you don't feel good and you have to start when you don't have enough money and you don't have enough time and things aren't right. That's the right time to start because waiting for the right time, you know, having a lot of money, you know, having the right idea, having all this stuff, it, it just, it never comes. What happens is you get started and once you get started, then all these things kind of fall into place, but they don't fall into place perfectly. You know, they don't fall into place perfectly for me. I can tell you that, you know, I, I many mornings I don't want to do it. And I say, well, I know I have to, because that's the only way to move forward is to actually do something. You can't wait guys. It's just, you can't wait any longer. I was on, I was on the phone yesterday with uh, a coaching client and I do, I do some private coaching. I have, you know, a small group of people that, you know, I, I get on the phone with and we, we set out action plans and I assign homework and they do this stuff. And then every couple of weeks we get on the phone again. And during, during that two week period, we'll email back and forth and we'll brainstorm and try to figure out what's going to work for them. And you know, the one thing I know about these people is these people don't want to wait. Okay. These, these people actually hire me to say, Hey, I want to do something right now. You know, my business isn't where it should be, or my business hasn't started even yet, or, you know, I'm stuck in my business and I can't move any further and I want to scale a little bit further. And these people don't wait for the right time because there is no right time. You know, I've heard people say, well, I got to get enough money together to do stuff like that. These people don't do that. They do whatever it takes, you know, to, to make things happen. And I was talking with one, um, yesterday in Canada, a really cool guy. And he was saying, uh, one of the motivators that he had was that, um, you know, he lives in Canada, but he's from Morocco and he wants to go back and see his family more and his boss won't let him off. And when he does let him off, he lets him have three days. Well, the trip from Canada to Morocco is a pretty long distance. That's a long, long ways to go. And, you know, I said to him, I said, isn't it funny um, how we will work a job and we will allow a stranger, a complete stranger to tell us when we can see our own family. It's true. You know, we'll allow a complete stranger to tell us when we can go to lunch or when we have to get up in the morning or, you know, how long we have to work that day. Um, and that's basically what a job is, is you, you allow a complete stranger, your boss, who that boss is, you know, and some of you may know your boss. Okay. So, but you get the point. Um, they're telling you exactly what to do with your time and your time is, is really, um, portions of your life. So you're actually giving up portions of your life to other people and letting them control it. If you don't pursue what you want to do now, if you're totally happy in what you're doing and you like doing that, this video isn't for you. Okay. This is for the people who are doing stuff they don't want to do and they want to make a change. Um, and I'll tell you, there's this thing called a five second rule. Um, and the five second rule is so important because we, we constantly get ideas in our head, but our head is designed to prevent us from any pain. So when we get an idea, let's say to go to the gym, our head's going to go, Oh, you don't feel too good right now. And I think you feel a little hungry right now. And you know, maybe you should eat instead. And you know, your legs kind of sore. So maybe you should sit back and not go to the gym. That's what your head does. So the only way to get around that, 
whether it's going to the gym or whether it's you know working on your business or whatever, is use the five second rule. And it's real simple. You count backwards from five and then you just do whatever it was that your mind said, hey, we should do this. Because your mind's constantly telling you things you should do. And then when you go to act upon it, it's coming up with excuses why you shouldn't do it. And, and the reason it does that is because your mind's trying to protect you from pain. Maybe the pain of going to the gym or the pain of sitting down and writing out stuff for your web page or the pain of searching for a product to sell. You know, it's, it's constantly trying to protect you. And it's, it's not protecting you in a good way. You know, use that rule, five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and then just proceed and do the things that you know you need to do. Because, you know, it's like I said in the beginning, the Calvary isn't coming. If you're sitting around and you're waiting for, you you know, I hear people say, well, you know what, if somebody just comes along and motivates me, man, I'm going to, I'm going to make it happen. Well, what if they don't show up? You know, <laughs> what if what if that motivational guru isn't there for you today? What happens on that day when you don't feel well and you don't feel like doing stuff? You know, I looked over at the clock today and it was 6.03 and I thought, 6.03, what should I do? And I went, five, four, three, two, one. You should get up and you should get going. And, you know, it, it sometimes is more difficult being an entrepreneur. If you're already an entrepreneur, you know this, that you don't have to get up. I don't have to get up, okay? I don't have to shave. I don't have to shower. I could just, you know, sit on the couch all day long if I wanted to. I got some money coming in. I could do that. But I didn't. So I got up and got cleaned up and went to my favorite Starbucks and started working and, you know, worked on my book some. And then I worked on a meeting I've got with a coaching client this afternoon. Uh, I worked on the webinar that I want to be uh, um, presenting on Friday. You know, those, those webinars I do on Friday, I know a lot of you guys listen to those. Those don't just happen, okay? There's a, there's a lot of work that goes into those webinars. There's planning and there's information and there's gathering and there's PowerPoints and there's videos. And, and that's something I do for free for you. So take advantage of it. And like I said, I'm going to put in the link, um, the link to that actual webinar so you can click on it and you can join. But it will be filled. It's all about free plus shipping and how to make money doing that. And that sounds crazy, you know, giving away products and making money. But we, we certainly do that. So I just want you to think about that today. Don't wait for the Calvary. They're not coming. Um, if, you, if you aren't happy in your situation, do something about it. Um, don't let a stranger tell you what you're going to do with your life. You know, time is all you've got, and you have a limited amount of that. And if you let somebody else control that time, they may not control it in your best interest. They're probably going to control it in their best interest, not yours. So if you want to do something about it, I'm going to tell you right now is the best time. I don't care about your money situation. I don't care about your time, your family, you know, your health. Any, no, I don't care about any of that. This is the right time right now. Do it. Count five, four, three, two, one. And whatever you know you should do, just go ahead and do it.